Hey y'all, can I have just a minute of your time this morning? Um, I won't, I won't keep you long, but the Lord just laid some on my heart. There's somebody this morning, you need to hear this. There's somebody here, maybe, maybe many of you who you're going through some things in your life and it just, uh, it doesn't make sense. You can't understand it. Um, you're struggling with some things or maybe a, a situation or somebody and it doesn't make sense. I want to share something with you. In John chapter 13, verse 7, the Bible says this. It says, Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Now, in context, what's happening here is, this is uh, around the Passover feast here. And after the, the feast, Jesus actually gathers water and things to wash the feet of the disciples. And Peter don't understand what's going on. Peter says, no, you can't wash my feet. Like, I'm, I'm not worthy, essentially, for you to wash my feet. And, and you can't wash my feet, Jesus. And Jesus stops him, and Jesus says exactly what I read you. He says, what I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Now, there's a lot of lessons here. There's a lot of contextual lessons here of, of what we can learn in leadership and how we're to... Uh, you know, we, we can't be a good leader until we've been a slave and we understand the situation of the people that's under us. There's other other things here, but but Peter didn't understand what was going on. Peter didn't know. And Jesus said, hey, Peter, instead of you trying to figure it out, try to uh, just go and, and do things yourself, he said, just trust me, is what Jesus is saying. He said, just trust me. And this morning, you're going through some things. Or today, you're going through some things. And tomorrow, you might be going through some things. Or maybe you've been going through some things, and it does not make sense. Here's what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to trust Jesus. I'm asking you to lean on Him instead of you can't maybe see Jesus' hand working in the middle of your situation. I'm asking you to trust His heart. Trust the heart of God, the heart of Jesus, of knowing that He knows what's going on. That at everything He does is perfect, and it's great. And he's working things out for your benefit and for his glory. But he needs you to trust him. And he needs you to just to be patient and to go through some things. And you say, well, this is hard. This is tough. I, I don't know if I can make it through these things. Well, you're right. You can't make it through these things. But with God, with Jesus Christ, you can. And he's saying, I need you to lean on me more than you're leaning on yourself. So I just want to encourage you today, whoever needs to hear this, you're going through something and it doesn't make sense. And Jesus says it may not make sense right now, but when it's time, it'll all make perfect sense. And he may show that to you here on earth or if you're a saved child of God, you may get home to glory one day and he may, he may give you the opportunity then to see what he was doing and why and how much sense it really did make. But even if he never shows you while we're here why he's doing what he's doing, just trust him. Hang in there. Keep your head up. Keep fighting because God is doing something great. And again, the verse says this, And Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Y'all, we got to trust him. we got to trust him in the good times and the bad times and the hard times and the fun times. All the time we've got to trust Jesus because he knows what he's doing. He's still on the throne and he's in control. And what he does is perfect and it's amazing. So I'm praying for you today. Somebody, Somebody's going through something. I don't know who you are, but you're on my heart. I'm going to pray for you even though I don't know who you are. God knows who you are and you're in our prayers. If we can do anything for you, please reach out and we love you. God bless.